You know what it is, S-Star TV. My name's DJ Double. Right now we're up in North London and I've hooked up with Wretch32. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. Chilling, man. Good stuff. Right, let's get straight into it right now. How did you get into making music? Um, you know what? Just like everyone else, man, I was, I was on the pirate radio circuit from years ago. You know what I'm saying? I was spitting on a station called Heat FM. It runs in North London. I kind of just kept going. You know, um, I, I, I wanted to... Um, to put out a CD, you know, I wanted to do something different because um, at the time everyone was doing rave lyrics and just pirate radio and stuff like that. So um made a CD, threw it out there, then um rest is history, really. Cool. So I know about the name. I know the wretch part comes from your mum. Back in the day, they used to call you a, a little wretch, right? What about 3-2? Where'd the numbers come from? 3-2 are just lucky numbers, man. You know what I'm saying? It always works for me. You know, I won't always say why, but they work for me, man. They're good numbers, man. You're lucky numbers. Yeah, yeah, you should try them. <laughs> I might do that, you know. So, Tractor, that's that's your first um, official single. Obviously, you've got a whole bag of tunes you've done before yeah. now with all the mixtapes and stuff, but Tractor's the one. Did you expect it to be so successful? <laughs> to be honest, no. We just kind of threw it out there. You know, we just wanted to fill up a gap. You know, we had a massive gap. We thought, let's just put something out there that we feel could, um, you know, could kind of keep me current. Um, but, you know, we threw it out on YouTube. I was getting really frustrated with um, the gap. I felt like the gap was too long. I wanted people to hear my music. Threw it up on YouTube. And then um, the DJ started getting with it. And it kind of just built organically, you know what I'm saying? Every other week, someone else played it or something else happened or whatever, you know. And then... Um, we said, yeah, let's go in hard with it, went in hard with it, and then, you know, it, it paid off. Definitely, absolutely did, man. I mean, it's got massive commercial success. Um, it went in at number five in the UK charts, of course. So the next one is Unorthodox with Example. I'm the type of guy that will have no life. Just so I can shine like this go life. And that sounds sad, but I'm happy. And the only plans to stay scattered. Yeah, Unorthodox. I made the bar, so I could be shocked. We don't follow no crowd. You know what I'm saying? I respect what he does. And um, I thought it would be nice to get him on the track. You know, I reached out to him. He was cool with it. He was just like, yeah, let's do it. And we done it. You know, so it, there's not, normally there's not like, you know, a mad story behind how collaborations happen. It, every artist kind of bumps into another artist somewhere along the way, like in a rave or in a PA, at a festival or whatever, at a show. And then, you know, everyone just says, yeah, we've got to do stuff. And then it's just when it gets to happen because everyone's so busy. Mm. So obviously that one got to happen. And yeah, it worked out, man. That's good, man. So you say you, you're obviously always bumping into artists and stuff. And, and from all your previous mixtapes and previous tracks, you've got a lot of collaborations with a lot of big UK eyes. Who's been the most memorable to work with at the whole collaborations thing? It's difficult, man, because you couldn't really say one person. You know, I could say I liked... You know, I took a different thing from every different artist. Like, me and Scorcher, we got a sick vibe. You know, m me and him in a studio working on one track. The vibe's just stupid, you know what I'm saying? Me and Chip, we got some, some hunger thing going on and, and, and it's brotherly love we go in. Me and Ghetto, we got some competitive thing. We're vibing. Um, it's it's all different. You know what I'm saying? It's all different. So I couldn't pick a I couldn't pick a best one. I'll just say that I'm I'm thankful that I'm able to work with the artists that I've worked with, and um, you know it's all good. I just wish everyone the best of luck in the future, man. What about ultimate collaboration, dead or alive? I like I like asking this to uh, artists. Anyone dead or alive out of any genre, who could you collaborate with? Dead or alive, I'd have to say I'd go with someone that was gone. I'd say Bob Marley. I just think that we'd probably make a sick song. And um, <laughs> I think people would like it. So, um, yeah, I really like his vibe as well. His music's legendary. He's been gone for so long and it still lives on. He's got a powerful voice, you know, powerful melodies, great vibe. Cool guy, man. So, yeah, Bob Marley. I respect that, man. That would probably be my choice as well, to be fair. Um, so, obviously, UK Grimes massive right now. Uh, you've done a lot of work. People like Skepta, you've been on stage with Skepta, Jeremy, Getz. I mean, the, the list is endless. Obviously, you keep up with UK Grime, right? Yeah. So, how about at the moment, the biggest thing I can see going on is the Dot Rotten Wiley clash. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? 
if if I'm honest with you, I'm I'm the type of person I just like to go to a shop and buy a man's album and listen to it. So like when everyone's battling, you know, I, I don't I don't get it. Like it's a bit, it's not my kind of thing. So I ain't really checked it out, checked it out like that. If I'm honest, but yeah, man, then them not that's what they do, do their thing, man. I'm just on a different thing. So you're not sending for anyone anytime soon then? <laughs> ah, you know what? I'm, I'm not in it. I don't understand it. Like, everyone knows each other. We, we're going to bump into each other somewhere. He's obviously going to say something that's a bit too far and then it's going to create a problem. I just avoid it because I know what that comes with. Not on, on like, on on my side. I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I just, I come here to make music, man. I come from a, a different kind of place and now I'm just on a different thing. So the battling out the window, leave me out. I'm not playing, don't mention me. I'm cool, man, safe. Just make music, man. No, I like that. I respect that a lot, man. You know what I mean, innit? Definitely, bruv, definitely. As long as it's all about good music. So, um, also, gets, obviously, who's on the panel. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you think about that? What do you think about the the whole top ten thing? I think he had a right to be frustrated. Can't really have a top ten without him, innit? Um, he spoke his mind. To be honest, when I sat down, I watched the show, it kind of hit my heart. That you know, it, it, and and I know that he was thinking the exact same thing. But my, I, I thought to myself, right? Did they really leave me off that, or <laughs> did they really leave him off that? And rare, rare, rare. But I, I just didn't let my emotions get the best of me. I just thought, yeah. alright, cool, safe. You get what I'm saying? And then um, obviously he done what he done, and he, he that's that's how he could get his emotions off me. I'm 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 more laid back, so I've, I, I'm more reserved. I think about stuff a lot more. You know, it's just going to be weird to think that, like, when they... I'm happy that they've done it in the first place, but it'll be weird to see that when they do a next one, I'm sure I'll be on that, but that would only mean because I had chart success, and then that would probably mean that it's about charting mm. rather than spitting, but it's all good, man, you know. Let's talk about for the rest of the year. Um, what's what's the plans? How are we going on from now? What are you going to do? Um, if I'm honest, this is how I look at it, yeah? Um, everything that's happened aside from music, has happened because of music. So what I do, I'm not one of them people that focus on stuff like, yeah, I'm going to have the record label and I'm going to get this and I'm going to have that and get the publishing company. I know that the bigger I get is going to be because of music. So if I just focus on what I am in control of, which is making music, so I just keep making, making music, whatever happens, happens for the end of the year. So right now the focus is just making music. Good stuff. Else that happens, happens, man. Cool, man. And obviously live events, you've got the thing with Radio 1. Uh, we've got the event 29th of April down in Brighton. Um, what other stuff? Uh, we've got wireless. We've got um, T4 on the beach. We got we got some bits and bobs, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best with dates and remember them <laughs> off head. Check out retfree2.com and click events and then you'll see what's up, man. That's it, retfree2.com and of course on the Twitter at retfree2. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, I'm the tweet man. Straight tweets. Oh, all well, now. Reply to the fans. Of course. <laughs> That's it. So uh, thanks very much for having us, brother. Yeah, man. Good, man. I know yeah. you're a busy man, so we're gonna let you get on. It's S Star TV, DJ Double, Rich Free Two, and we're gone.